Rebs. Hi. How are you? Hi, my friend. How are you? Good. How's New York? Yeah. Oh, epic. I'm seeing all the shows. I just saw Hugh Jackman in The Music Man. Um, and just, you know, just casually going, walking around Central Park and Times Square, seeing my epic billboard. Were people stopping you on the street being like, excuse me, like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, well, I had the mask on and then, and then I would quickly like take it off just to film the little video. I first came to New York when I was 23 and to go to comedy school on a scholarship that Nicole Kidman gave me. And now like to just think about, think back on my first time when I looked up in Times Square and saw all the billboards and then now I'm like, oh my God, I'm in one, which is pretty sick. Were you a cheerleader at high school? I never asked you this. Well, we never had cheerleading in Australia. It was such an uh, American thing. Um, and I think they might start of it, start to have it now because it's become so popular. Marissa, I was really unpopular. Uh, at high, for my first year of high school, I like just sat in the library at lunch all by myself every day. I can't imagine that. Well, I went on a deliberate mission to become popular. I actually read this book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. And it weirdly worked. Like in a year or two, I was like the most popular. What was your senior year like in high school? Was it great fun or... It was crazy. So I was voted deputy head girl. So kind of like the second most popular girl in the school. I didn't know at the time I wanted to be an actress. So I, I thought I was going to be a lawyer or a politician. Have you ever made a vision board for your yes. perfect dream life? You have? And was Brad Pitt on it? Yes. <laughs> it did come true. And Brad Pitt escorted me backstage at the Oscars after he just won an Oscar. And so like that, what you can manifest is freaky.